Hello, how's it going? We're here in Canate in Italy. We're finally kicking off EWS season. Um, yeah, this year we're going to try to give you a bit of insight into the racing. So uh, yeah, we're going to try to focus on a different thing each race. Let us know if there's anything you want to see, what happens in a race weekend. And uh, yeah, going to keep these videos coming. So yeah, here for the first race. Finally getting things going. We've got a double header this week. So we're going to race, practice today on Tuesday, race Wednesday, day off Thursday. And then we do a pro stage practice and race Friday and then uh, race again on Saturday, the same four stages as Wednesday. So uh, yeah, good week ahead of us. Yeah, it was good, yeah, just practice stage three. Uh, real good track, it's got a pretty hefty climb in it. But uh, yeah, it's probably on the limit of how much climbing you'd have on a stage, but it's it's good, like it's it's enduro, so we need those kind of tests. But uh, yeah, the actual track itself was real cool, bit of line choice, bit of tech, bit of flow, real good mix of everything. Yeah, next is uh, stage four, Tutti Frutti, the big, big boy. I think it's like a thousand meter drop. So uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing it three times this week, so it's, yeah, pretty important one for practice. And yeah, it should be cool. We raced it a couple of years ago and it's, it's full on, it's hard. It's got absolutely everything in it. It's proper, proper enduro stage. Really good, really good actually. Um, yeah, practice stage four since I saw you last, and it was uh, a lot rougher than a couple of years ago actually. It was kind of a little hard to get going on it, but yeah, really enjoyed it. It's got a few punchy climbs, a few fast bits, a few slow bits. Another one that's yeah, really good mix. I think the whole day is going to be really physical, like we've not got much pedaling in the liaisons, but uh, all the stages are like either really intense or pretty physical. So, um yeah, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be a proper race and having two of them in the week I think it's gonna be uh, pretty taxing. But looking forward to getting stuck in. So I got a new bike this week. Um I got it yeah about a month ago now, I've been riding it and yeah, really really stoked on it. It's uh, quite different to what Enzo have ridden before. And uh, yeah, really really happy. I'm pretty lucky that I managed to like have a bit of a part in the development of this when I signed with Da Vinci like a year and a half ago, the first thing I did with them was we went and tested a, a really early prototype version of this. And uh, yeah, straight away, you know, that high pivot system was really, really good, really impressed me. In terms of components, it's uh, pretty similar to what I was running last year. So, got Fox suspension, Float X2 rear shock, 38 fork, um, wheels, we got race face turbines. And then within there, we got Cush Core front and rear. Um, yeah, I've, I've learned my lesson of racing with no cush cord and I wouldn't race without it now because uh, yeah, it's just great. The, like, the extra damping it gives you is really good and then as well if you do have a puncture you can you can ride to the finish of a stage pretty comfortably, which is great. And then I got downhill casing tires, again, a bit more safety. So I got an Asagai front, meaning DHR2 on the rear. Uh, we got a Fox transfer post, the new one, with 200 mil travel, real nice, get the saddle a bit, a bit lower. And then attached to that, we got the new SDG Bel Air saddle, which is sweet, real comfy, no issues with it, real reliable, which is good. Uh, and then we got some more race face parts. We got race face next door carbon cranks and race face next door bars. I'm running 35 mil rise on them and 770 mil wide. And then I got a turbine 32 mil stem on that. And then we got a one up EDC tool in the uh, head tube. And uh, we got a Chris King headset, which we're on this year, which is 
pretty cool, it's pretty bling. And then ODI grips to finish it off. And HT pedals to clip into and give her the beans. And then actually, yeah, as well, we got XTR drivetrain and brakes. And I'm actually running the 1045 cassette with the XTR, the smaller option, uh, which I like. It's kind of, you've less gaps between each gear and then you've a smaller derailleur, a smaller cage, so it's kind of more out of the way and less chance of, of hitting it. But uh, yeah, pretty, really stoked with the setup. Like it's all been really good. I've had no problems and uh, yeah, it's cool now to see the finished product and kind of see see what the guys made from that test session and how it's developed from that original prototype to now the kind of this one we're racing and uh yeah yeah really really loving it Yeah, like it was, like I thought it was a pretty good day to be honest. I felt like stage one, I didn't really get going too well. Stage two was good. Stage three, I maybe, I did make quite a lot of mistakes up the top. Um, and then stage four, I had a crash, but otherwise felt like I was riding really well. Um, so like when I finished, I, I didn't really know any results. And I was like, oh, okay, maybe I'm, you know, maybe a top 20. Kind of judged off my own feeling, but I think it was 30th in the end. So uh, yeah. level is high at the moment and I think it was kind of a shorter race, I think the race was only 28 minutes so yeah times are really tight and I think things like even that crash you know if you're gonna lose 10 seconds in a crash it's gonna push you back quite a bit so uh, yeah not it's definitely not what I was dreaming of coming in but it is what it is and it's pretty cool that it's a double header you know we've only got two days now to you can get stuck in again and ride, race the same stages so definitely feel like I want another chance and we're getting another chance so uh, yeah, gonna make the most of that.